This is Species Artificial Life Real Evolution. Well, what we're going to. This is an, an evolution game, which I actually find fascinating. I am personally a massive fan of biology. Where's the music? Oh. That's it. Okay. I'm a personal massive fan of biology. And other things. You can hear my compu my um computer's fan running. But oh, I have something awesome. I'm starting to work on an actual computer, an actual gaming computer, not really a nice one. It's gonna be a well, it's a nice one. It's better than the MacBook. It's um I've already got the monitor for it. It's a um Dell. Don't know how old it is, but it's better than what I have now. Don't have the tower yet, but I'm working on that. And then I'm gonna need the HDMI cord and a keyboard. So and then I'm gonna save up for a uh, I forgot what that word was called. A oh, graphic card. Yes. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna name this world, and we're gonna name it. Oh, well, not name, but like the seeds. So we're gonna do eight three zero four two eight nine ten. That's not actually the number. That's actually a whole map. So I think we're gonna go with a um lake map, maybe, or an oasis. An oasis allows like a little bit more interesting, and we're gonna make the slope gradient five, maybe a little bit higher. Let's go with nine, actually. That looks pretty good. We're not gonna do really any much to genetic engineering, so we're gonna we're gonna make the temperature we're gonna set the um fertility is gonna be static, right? But then the temperature is gonna be uh lat to longitude, so you can have an ice area and then a well, just an, a, two different vi vi um, variations. And to make it so people try to live in the um uh, longitude, latitude. So what we're gonna do is that I'm trying to figure out how I could uh so, like, I want to figure out how I could set it up. Noise map. I think that would work, because now that this is more of a healthier biome, that would work pretty well. And then we're going to start with a smaller amount of creatures. Creature cap, we're not going to make 500. We're going to make it a 1,000, because that that's a lot more creatures. The creature detail doesn't really need to be high, but... So what, then, we're not going to really change any of this stuff. We're gonna get rid of the tutorial messages, but it's a pretty cool game. It's really interesting how it's set up. So we're gonna generate the world. It's really interesting because there's it's not direct. You can't like go into a creature and choose it. Well, that's actually oh, that's actually pretty freaking awesome music. So oh my, <laughs> the desert. But you can tell this is gonna be an interesting game because ooh, that's awesome. I can use the page up. And, no, that was I was thought. I, oh, <laughs> that's fine. I think I can use our... Uh, look at this. So this is our world. We've got... Okay, this music is fantastic. But you've got motion settings. Let's look at the left. Ah. Uh, if you look closely, you can see the simple larvae. The thing with these things is that you can't get them to do anything until you start doing stupid stuff with the game, right? I think our FPS is pretty low, yeah, it's a pizza. <laughs> Look at the FPS, it's freaking 29. Ooh, it's not, oh, it's at record high of 15. Oh, damn. 15 FPS, guys. Turn the graphics down, actually. You can actually change the world options, which is pretty awesome. We're gonna change these down. Just. Ah, that increased the FPS by quite a bit. Um. Oh, can't modify much from here, but. There's not really much you can do. Oh. Yeah, it, when it comes to this, but you can really change the stuff, things, what happens. So, how are we going to get these little sad bug things to survive? Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to not use a radiation, because I figured out that doesn't really help. What we're going to do is we're going to get the rovers, and we're going to make it so that creatures with high statistic, I don't know. Let's go with... Genetic distance to target. What's that do? Okay, let's import that. Okay, so now they're not gonna. That will make them less hostile. So we're not gonna have that. That's not what I want. Genetic distance to target. Okay, so we're not. We can't really use that. Statistic size. Uh, let's actually not have any rovers because that makes no sense. So these guys are gonna have to re figure out. How to survive? I think I want to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip, grab these a chunk of these guys, and we're gonna plant button, and we're gonna drop them in the grassland. These guys will probably evolve to be less tree based, 
So we're gonna make it so that trees don't- I wish you could like, get- chop down trees. But you can't, so. So we're gonna have our- we're gonna have these little dudes up here. These little men, these guys. Hopefully they'll speciate someday. Okay. Oh, so yeah, you have a weird auto save thing, so we're gonna set the time pretty fast. Oh, they're starting to do that. These guys are not smart. They're turning into a wasteland just by moving. Dude, they're grazing. But fertility is pretty low, and that's probably why everyone's depressed. And I'd like to point out how it's like a hundred. What's so hot? Fifty, almost fifty degrees Celsius. I don't, know, I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit, but like, I know it's very hot. Like, incredibly burning, like, flesh burning hot. Right here is, like, the survival zone. This is, I like this hill. This is gonna be an interesting place to survive. Oh, I'd like to. Okay, so we're gonna look at the map. So, there's, like, no life here. All the life is congregating in this nightmare scape up here. Look. Look. It's, oh, it's actually 26 degrees Celsius. So what you can actually do, theoretically, is I can increase the temperature and actually force a migration between these species all the way down, start moving, forcing them to migrate this way. And forcing them to migrate to the center. Oh my gosh, my fan. Oh my. Right? It's going to force them to migrate. Right? It's going to force them to migrate. And now, because if we get them to migrate, it will get us to survive better. Come on, music. When was the music coming back? That's not good. But I mean, you can tell it's kind of nice. I mean, got these cute things. We don't got many different species. I mean, look, we got this thing. I don't even know what this is. It's a. <laughs> it takes a very long time for things to start happening. Like, but it's, it's kind of beautiful. So what we're gonna figure out how to do is that we're gonna decrease the water level. All right, like that. We're gonna increase the temperature and force a little bit of migration. And force a little bit of evolution. The people that stay. What the heck is this? Why is there a shelf coral? Huh? We're gonna force them to migrate or turn into dinosaurs, which I found interesting. I, well, I was playing this a while back, and they turned into dinosaurs the hotter it was, and they turned into mammals. So, yeah. So the cold spots over here will be, um, like, where the, uh, Anim other animals live. And we got this ocean here. This will be a very interesting place because. So we're going to increase the water fertility actually like this. Like that. And that will allow more plants to grow in the water. So every. so Because in water, things can bounce back to water if they need to. They've turned this place into a wasteland. We've still only got one species. That sucks. But maybe they look a little different? No. They, they look the same. Look. They're just hedge side is changing. The ground is like lava. Oh, it's kind of not warm. It's kind of hot. You guys might want to move. Oh, they're getting legs now. Little creepy things have legs, it seems. Mm -hmm. Little monsters. Okay, so they're just congregating the water right there. So we're going to click this button and boom, the water's freaking gone. They have to live without water now. Except if they come here. This. This will be a uh, new land. But they're starting to mi- like you can tell if you look at the world map. They're starting to migrate, but they've got so much population that they're just like- So they're slowly migrating this way. That's good. So we're gonna decrease the water level again, because the FPS is dropping. So we're gonna make them live without water. Yes. Ha. Huh. The water is at the minimum. But, that means that they're going to have to migrate this way. Because your little life is going to suck. Yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful environment. Look how beautiful this environment is. Like, we got the... Oh, we actually have two species now. Let's pause. Oh. Oh, come on. So we've got two species. Oh, one species now. They've got legs now. That's a, that's a thing. Oh, these ones do. Oh, these ones are fish. Oh, they're they're extinct. Ah, that's funny. That that's like not funny, but like, yeah. 
So we got some marsh, which is actually, I've never actually seen that before. Some marsh. So. We're gonna have swamp monsters. He's actually surprising a lot of survival. I mean, like, I like to point out how in the corner over here. I was like, mutated extinct, mutated extinction. So, yeah, they're learning that, uh, move down south. I think. Yeah, no, they're not. They're just saying, screw you! Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow, we actually have more than one species. Now let's check the um, play diagram. So we've got this thing, and then we got this thing, and that thing. So we got a horned creature. We have another, we have a new horn, a, a four legged beast. And this, uh, I don't even know what that is, but I don't like it. Oh, we lost our, we lost the horned creature. But we still have this. We still have that thing. I don't like it, but I mean, it's still there. I don't think it's gonna last very long. So what do these guys not like? They got lungs. That's fun. They like. Oh, look, another minor species. That thing's creepy. And extinction for both of you. You both get me. Oh, come on! There's no new life. They're all just dying. Look at this grassland, though. I like that grassland. That's a pretty beautiful biome. You can tell that life is, like, just dying out over here because of how hot it is. Like, there's asphalt. Just asphalt. That's what it's called. That's what the biome is called. Asphalt. Guys, you know there's like a beautiful environment down here with grasslands, water, and it's all wonderful. So we got two species now. We got the minor species. Yeah, they're both screwed. Well, this one's screwed because this one's the piece to the It's just annoying. You're on the ride. I think that means we have to use this button again. This button. Uh, enjoy the fire. And we still got asphalt. Eventually, you can get just uh, straight up freaking lava. So, oh, I think there's actually one species. So we got this pop creature, and then we got that creature. So they, this one's dead. So is that. They're pretty much this one. Okay, so are we getting the lava yet? Lava temperatures? Uh, no, we do not have lava. We just have that. Uh, Creatures are surviving around these little lakes and like in chunks. Just big chunks. Yeah, but there's no chance. So, I mean, like, seriously, though, look, it's all asphalt up here. It's just fire and death. Here's a nice and pretty, isn't it? Okay, so we've actually got a species. Oh, no, I thought this thing was actually going to survive. The dominant species really needs to go extinct, so I need a. Come on. I think if this dominant species, once it's dominant species, it's really loving the temperature. We're gonna just take them off the face of the earth by dropping the temperature. Yeah, they love this heat. Let's see, the generation 30. They like the, they love the um, hot fitness of the world. So I think we should just screw them off by my food and stuff, right? This is just asshole, like, why? Okay, this is lava. This is just straight up lava. You guys like heat? Something called the temperature down by the team. So we got two species, and they're actually in second. Ready to be hit with a, a, thermo, a thermo weapon? Ha. Huh. Enjoy. Instantaneous near extinction of all life. It's so cold. You're like, oh god, it's freezing! <laughs> Enjoy! Enjoy extinction. So these jerks continue to survive against my meat one points. They need to figure it out. The ice is bad. That you should also become a plant. Not a plant. There's no plants either. There's no few plants because it's so freaking cold. There you go. 11 degrees Celsius on average. Like that? They're having to migrate back up. But not a lag is lowering because they're almost all extinct. 
That's good. Oh, uh, wait, no, it's still my FPS. I mean, look, they're surviving in a way. It's a dark way, but they're alive. Guys, figure it out! I'm making this place on purpose ice cold. There, six degrees. How do you like that? Okay, what I'm trying to do is teach you guys that you might want to not freeze to death. Learn. Oh my gosh, we actually have a carnivore? Oh, not anymore. We actually had a carnivore. That's actually impressive. You never really get carnivores in this game. It's in kitchen. It's freezing cold now. Oh my gosh, we have dinosaurs! I thought we had dinosaurs. We had dinosaurs! I saw one with a frill! Look! Look, there's one. Oh, I wanna see it. Let me see. So we've got this chaos that is the night world. So life is starting to go extinct and migrate north. Because the ice wall is coming. The ice wall. So, if a creature learns to survive with ice, in ice, they will do well because I'm turning the temperature down again. Two degrees Celsius. Any of you guys can change that, check that for me. Because Oh my gosh, they actually have hot savannas up here now. Oh my gosh, we have a grass savanna. But back down here, we have ice. If you guys enjoy, figure it out. We got this species, okay, mutant, and we got dominant species. How are they doing so well? It sh they should be freezing to death, but they're not. So I'm trying to get them to speciate forcibly by wiping them out with freeze frost bite. bite. Look, boom. Like this? Negative two degrees Celsius. All water freezes at this, at lower than this temperature. Okay, so that's 30 degrees. That's a little less than 30 degrees, 32 degrees Celsius. Well, Fahrenheit, I mean. So we have five new species. We have five species. Let me see them. Mm -hmm. So we have this thing. Oh, it's got fur, so you might survive. You don't have fur. You don't have fur. Maybe the fur beast will survive. And, oh, oh it's gone back. Oh, three. No, oh, no. This thing, sir. How is this thing? This thing is designed for ice! I mean, like, it's not extinct, surprisingly. Like, oh, spoke too soon. Come on, they had this. Why do we have. I thought that was a beaver for a second. Oh, wow, here's the speciation train. Look at all this. It's split. Now we got no m mammals now anymore. Oh, we have one mammal. These are mammals. Hope these guys survive. Well, they're surviving. So, uh, this is interesting. We're getting lots, we're getting mammals, but we still have, okay, we got, like, this species and this species. These guys are doing okay. These guys are alright. We got some bigger, more powerful species now, so let's check the map. So, we do have some iceberg beasts. These are the ones that live in the ice. Let me see. Let me see. Look at this. This is terrifying. It's covered in ice. It's like Russia. Cold, cold, cold Russia. We actually have seven species now due to the uh, ice. The ice land we have across this game. So we got this species, the, which are non mammalian. We got this mammalian species. It's got a few more feathers. So this one's actually have four populations. But we have the dominant species, th this species, and then this uh, branch of bigger of, uh, species, which is actually kind of cool. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Awesome. And we got this one. So I'm thanking the mammal ones, they do pretty darn well. Averages, so they, they really like, they get how rapidly exhausted, sadly. That won't fare well in the tundra. To negative 6 degrees Celsius, how do you like them? Apples, I guess, I don't know. So, so we are actually two years into the game, I would say. But, you can tell, like, there's seven species now. And then we have the iceberg species that, um, oh, come on. The mammals went extinct. But I'd like to point out how we have lots of ice plants. So this is where, so we're going to have multiple species. But we need some mammals to pop pop. So we can actually have some more biodiversity. Because we're all reptilian right now. 
So I'm trying to get it so that more, so look, the average temperature in the room is pretty low. I mean, it's very, very cold. Very cold. It's all getting gone. Oh, wow, this is much better. This is much better than what I have. This is can't, so this is much better. Look at this. So we got... Oh, oh okay, so we got rabbit-looking things. I don't know what this is, but I don't like it. Why are these trees having a seat? Oh, that's not a tree. That's a, that's a fence. I didn't even know I was building a fence. I just thought we will build a wall. There you go. You built, I, built a, I built a wall. I don't know why, but I was able to build a wall. Look at that. Mm. And I just... So we have actually a pretty good environment. We have the tundras of the night nidosphere. Look at this. Ice plane. So wait, let's just check the biodiversity. We've lost a lot of species, but we don't have many mammals, surprisingly. Like, these dinosaur-looking things. Like, that's a dinosaur. That is a Triceratops, if I've ever seen one. So look at that. We have, like, two different variations. We got these variations, and then... But what the... <laughs> it's just a head! What? I mean, you can tell that stuff is going on, actually. Other camera mode. RTS. Oh, I hate that. I hate this. FPS. First person, yeah. So we have no mammalians. It's actually quite interesting. Because logically speaking, shouldn't I, I'm surprised there's no speciation. These guys actually do have fur. Huh. These look like dinosaurs. Let me see. Got five FPS. Look at this planet. Look how beautiful this place is. Okay, so we got... <laughs> The water rises, and it's just a cull, a massive culling of animals. So we got, like, dinosaurs that live in the ice lands. This is... I didn't know the clouds had texture. Now I get what they mean by oasis. It's not really an oasis. It's, it's an icy nightmare. So, it's interesting, because you can see over here, there's no life. Yet, it's one of the bigger biomes. Like, it should... Like, the trees, if you look closely, are congregating in the smaller valleys by the water, and it's a very cold, cold planet, but we don't have many mammals, look. I mean, like, that has hair, but yeah. So I think we'll go on to, uh, but you can tell that most of life is congregating, so I'm gonna actually do this, look. World options, trees grow weight, two. Adjust. Boom. Trees are now gonna grow less often. Oh, we gotta set to three, that's stupid. But you can tell that there's a. It's actually a pretty harsh planet. Look. There's a lot of herbivores. We don't have any carnivores. I, I'm gonna import something. Okay, ready? Import creature. Oh darn. This is wonderful. You can tell that there's a lot of cute animals. I don't know why. Escape. I'm getting. There. I guess I have to use Look how cute these guys are. They're actually kind of adorable. Look, look, look how cute the animals are. Look how cute that is. Aww, so sweet. Aww. Screenshot. Oh, dang it. Okay, I have to do control. Function 5. Why can't I take a screenshot? Come on! Man 5! Okay. Look how cute that is. They're actually kinda cute. Like, I've never seen some cute animals such as those. In this game. Like, I haven't seen many cute animals. Mostly they give me nightmares, but I mean... So we've got these cute things. Oh, so we've got the congregation of trees. The trees will have to wipe, be wiped out, so we're gonna have to come on three times. Speed. 
the trees will eventually be wiped out. But it's kind of cute. Oh no. We got a massive dying. Oh gosh. Well, well, I guess I'll leave you with that. Oh, yes. Well, if you like these video, um, see, tell me in the comments.